What's up? How are you guys this week? It appears that I am not in a palace in Moscow, but I did have some of our delicious beef and barley stew. So it was basically like I was in the forest with a Siberian village girl, home cooking it. Basically the same thing, basically the same thing, right? Uh, so we got a decent amount of new stuff going on this week. A uh, few exciting things to talk about coming up. We'll see if I remember them all. Uh, main conversation for you guys is, do we want to switch the dairy to glass? And I'll get more into that later. Most of it will be switched to glass at basically no additional cost, very little if anything. Uh, but the, the milk and stuff is what we'll talk about later uh, after, after we take a look around. It's been a pretty eventful week. Uh, some of you guys know like the government gives grants for stuff and I've never gotten any despite spending like over $10,000 on grant writing companies, but the guy that was supposed to write the grant for me this year, he bailed on me like three days before the grant was due. So I had to, had to write it all up myself and figure that out. So thankfully we got it submitted. I was able to figure everything out and do it. Uh, so that was a little stressful last week. And we had a uh, Department of Ag come in and inspect. Uh, you guys know like Mr. Scammer Miller nonsense. Uh, well, he didn't want Department of Ag to do a, an inspection, so he denied him, and then they had to get a warrant and inspect his farm. So, me, we passed our Department of Ag inspection with flying colors. No Fox News main page with a $300,000 GoFundMe for Frankie Boy, huh? Right? I guess that's what happened when you, uh, I guess that's what happens when you do things the legitimate way. All right, so first we're gonna show you guys what's in the fridge, cause that's important. You know, like perishable stuff that just came in. Uh, what's really big is we did get all the chicken back in stock. That's in the freezer. We can actually sell the chicken fresh every week, uh, which I might start doing actually. I don't know. Depends if you guys want it. So we got a lot going on. Our usual farm fresh A2, A2 raw dairy has all come in nice and fresh. And this is just some sauerkraut and stuff. Uh, we did restock some butter. Uh, ran out of butter for the first time in very, very long. So we do have butter back in stock if you guys are looking for it. This is the water kefir. I'm going to show you guys the new labels. Uh, we do have a new flavor, cherry, coming out with new flavors every, every week. Plenty of ghee. Plenty of raw cheeses. But this is the exciting stuff. So we got a lot, a ton of farm fresh beef and a lot of this is going to have to go in the freezer. Uh, especially this is like 700 pounds of local ground beef. And guys, the price we're charging for this fresh local ground beef, uh, $8 a pound, $8.50 a pound before the discount on the website, it's criminal. It's criminally cheap, it's so cheap. Highest quality, the meat's not dry aged, it's not hung at all, low histamine, best stuff. And with that, we have our steaks available, uh, bone and porterhouse and bone and ribeye. And I, I don't even want to mention it because there's only two available, but, uh, there are some brains in here. Some fre fresh beef brains. I think they're 30 bucks. Uh, I, this should be more actually. For a f fresh beef brain is, is worth more than $30. I might have to increase that price because we only get one or two a week. Um, but that's on the fresh meat set. There's a fresh meat share option where you have to email us where you can order all this stuff. So you have the option of the local ground beef, the porterhouse or the ribeye steaks, or the the beef brain, which is very limited. And we have too much blood. I think I have like over 300 jars, so this is now $5 a jar. And guys, <laughs> this lid and jar cost me a dollar. Plus I paid the farmer for the blood. Like, I'm not really making any money on this. We just have so much of it now that I have to charge $5 a jar for the fresh blood. Otherwise, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have just too much. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, what's also really special is uh, last week, we showed you guys, we got beef pastrami, homemade, and beef bacon, homemade. So the difference between this and the bacon we were selling, this is smoked and cured. Uh, so very, very high quality, much tastier, ready to eat. It's fully cooked all the way through, so uh, we did a price reduction. Uh, the pastrami, I think, was 25. I took it down to 20. The bacon was like 20. I think I took it down to like 16.50 or something, but you know, guys, hopefully, hopefully in the very near future we have our own plan and we're able to reduce the price a little more. I just, you know, the, the amount of time and work and effort this takes to make this stuff, su such a special product, it's, it, if I'm charging this little for it, it's almost not worth it, even though it seems expensive. So, those items, 
are all fresh, never frozen. Even the bacon and the pastrami, the brisket and the belly was never frozen. That's on, as I said, on the fresh steak and ground beef option. This is now the separate option if you want a whole beef share. So we had two customers order a quarter beef this week. The cow came out a bit heavy. Uh, it's 408 pounds of meat total. So each customer is getting about 200 pounds of meat for their share, uh, which is, uh, th these are five boxes. So each customer is getting five 40 pound boxes of meat, which is a ton of meat. Uh, here is like all the roasts. Uh, there's round roast. There's chuck roast, brisket in there. There's a lot of like uh, bone-in ribeye and porterhouse steaks in here. And then these three on the bottom are basically all ground beef in there. There's a small amount of like liver and heart that you get with this, um, but it's mostly ground beef. And, and this is the cheapest price online for this type of meat because uh, we, we charge between $7.50 and $7.75 a pound for the finished product. Everyone else charges by the hanging weight, so they're kind of like scamming you because you don't necessarily pay per pound for what you get. Uh, so you're basically getting all cuts of beef for less than $8 a pound, which is crazy, you know, because you're getting ribeye, you're getting porterhouse, you're getting these roasts, all these, all these whole retail cuts that are worth way more than that. So this is the best price that you can get uh, fresh meat for online if you want to fill up your freezer, if you really want to buy in bulk. Uh, we got some extra eggs this week, so if you guys want to help support the local Amish farmer, hey, pl place an extra egg order, you know, really help us out. So those are all chicken eggs, and we do have a limited amount of, of duck and quail eggs. I think we're almost out of duck eggs this week, but they should be coming in next week. Yeah, I could have put all that fresh chicken in there too, but we're, we're gonna get another batch of fresh chicken in. And, and I don't really care that much because like all this fresh beef and stuff we're doing every week, you guys don't seem to, to care about it that much. So maybe in the future when we're set up better, we'll be able to just do fresh meat in general for everyone. But just for now, um, it's not really a priority. And honestly, the people that want the fresh never frozen stuff, they don't seem to be willing to pay extra for it uh, in most cases. So it's not really worth it on my end. So nothing crazy new on the food stuff. You know, the past two weeks, we restocked some marrow oil. We got some plain beef jerky back in stock. Uh, but what I wanted to show you guys was our new water key for labels. God help me if I can find them. So after like three years of selling water kefir, I finally got labels for you guys. You know, we were able to offer it at a more affordable price because we're reusing the, uh, the Mountain Valley bottles. Uh, like here we have lemon, grape is a new relatively new flavor, pineapple, older flavor, cranberry, brand new flavor. We don't even have this available yet. And, um, then we have the back label too. So on the front is gonna be the flavor, on the back it's just gonna say, uh, you know, a little bit about the kefir, what the ingredients are, how many culture, how much cultures probiotic content per, uh, per cup. And then it's gonna say like, oh, okay, what ingredients do we use in it? And then just some, some quality certifications that we have on here. But I'm excited about this. Uh, there's blueberry. Honestly, like, like the labels are nice, but the way they stick to the bottle, it's not like, they're not completely flush. They don't stick that great. So it's, it's, still, it's still much better than what we had. Yeah, so this is what it's gonna come like. Healing crystals, kefir, cherry, kefir, and then the label on the back. So, I mean, you can still, you know, like we still got the Mountain Valley cap and it says spring water on here, but the, the Mountain Valley label on the front and the back is no more. And this is important because like you guys weren't able to tell. If you order different flavors of water kefir, there's really no way to tell until after you open it and smell it. But I guess we're getting slightly more professional. Now all the water kefir is 850 a bottle. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep in mind that, you know, the economy's kind of screwed for a lot of people and they can't really afford it, but I don't think we're really profiting selling that for 850 a bottle. So we'll have to see how it goes after we get all the flavors available and, and see how quickly everything's moving. Uh, we're also gonna sell the, the key for minerals should be available soon. I was telling you guys about that replacement for molasses. Uh, maybe two or, oh, well that's probably two or three weeks away. Uh, slightly off topic, sometimes when I place a large order with Uline, uh, I get this for free. It's a Milwaukee uh, drill and impact set. I think I got, how many of these do I have now? There's one down there, there's two over there. So I mean, I got four of these total. So maybe we'll do a giveaway 
uh, for my best customers. Like, if you if you place a lot of orders with me and you could really use this, I think it's like a three or four hundred dollar value. Uh, again, it's Milwaukee drill, Milwaukee impact driver. I mean, I have a set for I have a set for my my work in my house already, so I don't really need it. There's the impact. There's the drill. Uh, nice little set. So we got we got four of these available. So I guess um, whoever watches this vlog and uh, which I, and guys don't email me unless you're like you know you're placing a lot of orders because um, that, that's who I'll give this away to uh, I, I don't really know how to do a giveaway fairly um, I'll, I'll have to think about this maybe we'll have to announce it in in the title but look when thousands and thousands of people are watching this and I only have four I mean you know it's over a thousand dollars four of these but it's still I still don't feel like it's you know uh, a warranted giveaway because like I'll give away liverworks with every order one week which is you know 300 if it's well not 300 orders let's say if it's 200 orders that's you know fifteen hundred dollars worth of liverworks so the giveaways we do normally like one of each product to every customer it's uh it's more cost me more overall but i guess people get more excited about the idea of something like that that's more valuable over here we restocked our bug spray it's in glass now I accidentally bought plastic bottles last time um just waiting on some labels we ran out of labels for this um but it's, it's just organic witch hazel, spring water, uh, some essential oils in here. So basically a natural bug spray that, that works. I've tried it before and that it's in glass, uh, basically minimally polluted. No other companies really do this, guys, because buying the glass, transporting it, shipping it, doing high quality with the water and everything. That, that's what's really special about our products on Frankie's Naturals is, you know, they're not made with tap water and they're not stored in plastic. Those are two things you actually can't even buy if you wanted to you'd have to make the product yourself but speaking of frankie's naturals pretty much everything is on like uh is on sale very cheap discount because i just want to move all this stuff out of here i can't really afford to stock the inventory anymore so like all the soap all the shampoo uh most of the lotions and stuff we we, we heavily heavily reduced the price uh if i lower it anymore i think i'm breaking even so if you guys have been wanting to buy shampoo or conditioner really cheap uh, this deodorant, I don't even know if it's listed on the website. Mike, Mike, you know what, we might, might just give that away with every order, every Frankie's Naturals order moving forward. We'll have to see about that. Um, the, like the coconut oil soap is only $2 a bar. I might reduce it even more, but, but we're basically gonna, we're gonna liquidate everything over here. Maybe only keep one, uh, like two or three of the items and I'll, I'll probably make my own shampoo in, in a month or two. I have to figure out the recipe on that, a new clay shampoo. I was joking about this this natural boob last week. Uh, but what's kind of special and probably warrants a separate video and longer explanation is uh, this stuff, 7-hydroxymitrogene, uh, which a girl told me about when I was out in LA. Uh, it's actually Kratom. Um, if you've heard of Kratom, there's been like uh, documentaries and crazy stories about that stuff. But this is, this is an extract of Kratom, which is like an opioid stimulant, uh, which I've been using on and off the past three weeks. Um, I just wanted to test my liver enzymes before selling this to you guys and my liver enzymes are the same so uh, you know if I'm, ta if I'm taking one or two of these every day and it's not affecting my liver enzymes I'm inclined to believe that you know just as with anything if you overdo it um, I, if you overdo it it's um, it's the problem so uh, these these are some sample things so these are gonna be for sale on organ supplements uh, for the next 200 orders on organ supplements rega regardless of what you get I, mean, I think it's gonna be thirty dollar minimum. You're gonna get a free, a free pill. So I, I usually break these in half. And if I'm having a bad day or I'm tired or I'm not feeling so good, th these whip me right up. And what I really liked was taking these before getting on the airplane. I'll, I'll never be afraid to like. I usually hated going on airplanes, but you know, taking half of these at the beginning of the flight and then half of it halfway through the flight, it's just like you feel good the whole time. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but these aren't cheap, guys. Uh, I think the, the, they used to be like $35 a pack for three pills. Now I think it's down to 26 or 27. So it's still, you know, it, six, seven dollars a bit. It's, it's not, it's, look, it's not super expensive uh, for a cost of feeling good all day, but it's definitely not cheap. So uh, we're giving away, again, 200 orders worth of free pills, just if you guys want to try it. And then um, if, if you guys do think it's something that makes your day better, I mean, hey, for me, I'll gladly pay for one or two of these pills a day if it makes me feel better. And there's a lot of negative stigma around opioids, but the problem with them is people don't have a base of nutrition in their diet. So they're not giving themselves the B vitamins and protein and things necessary to replenish the neurotransmitters that act on the opioids. So 
if I take one or one and a half of those a day, and it, it's the way I use them is, is to get me in a good headspace. So if I'm having a bad day and I take one of those and it cheers me up, I don't have to take an, I don't have to take two or three more of them that day. I'll be happy the rest of the day. It's like it, it's good to take you from bad to good, and then if you're eating right, if you're eating healthy, if your diet's on point, if everything's in check, that's it, it's more of like a preventative thing. And if you're, I mean, if you're having a really bad day, yeah, you could take like one or two of them, like, because I've never taken more than half a pill at once so far. Um, so, so I really like that as a tool, like, especially when I was sick or if you're not feeling so good, it's good to get you in that good headspace and then, you know, especially like after you wake up, laying, a lot of times like when I go to bed, I don't feel good when I wake up. So I like taking half in the morning sometimes and then when I get back from work, another half or if I'm not feeling so good after a nap. Really, really useful tool for that. Really useful tool, I like it. Um, I was reading crazy stories online of people getting addicted and they're taking like eight pills a day, but I think it relates back to the nutrition and diet and health and taking care of yourself. Because I've been, I've been using that for three weeks on and off, has not negatively affected my liver enzymes. I think it's a very useful tool. The only downside is it's a little expensive and uh, I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna list that on organsupplements.com and as I said, uh, the, well, I should probably film some shorts on it too, but the first 200 orders on organsupplements.com are gonna get one free capsule. Yeah, I mean, we, we got a lot of stuff going on, guys. We got, we got the fresh meat in there. We got discounts on all the Frankie's natural stuff. We got the hydroxymetrogene available now. And we restocked all the clothing on Wi-Fi shielding. All the sweatsuits, uh, the black tops and pants, all the shorts and t-shirts are available if you guys want this. There were like three or four orders people placed where like they only ordered a t-shirt or only ordered underwear. And I, I told you guys I want you to order them in sets, but I might just have to drop that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because uh, I'm, I'm not going to pass up, you know, a $100 sale. It might throw the inventory off and then I got to figure it out with my tailor, but... Like, what I tried doing was, like, if someone ordered a t-shirt, I would add the shorts, 30 bucks, put it on the invoice, and send them the bill, explaining to them, hey, would you like to order the set, or would you like me to cancel the order, but, I don't know. It's, like, like a girl ordered a t-shirt and was like, oh, I don't need shorts because I don't have balls, but, uh, well, she didn't say that, that's what I'm implying. But if, if you're wearing just a t-shirt, and the bottom is open, and, and the radiation can come in, it's... You're still being protected a little bit by the t-shirt, but I just can't fathom why someone would, would not order a set. Like, why wouldn't you order the t-shirt and the underwear at the same time? Like, you need to wear both to protect your whole body. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so let's hop in the freezer and hopefully not freeze my camera. So nothing crazy new over here, just restocks. We got our regular strip steaks, uh, 10 ounce strip steaks, smaller portions available at a discount if you guys like those. Over here is just some raw beef bacon. We got plenty of uh, ground bison, very affordable price on that. This is our pork share. Very special, but you guys aren't too excited about it, so I'm not worried about it that much. We won't talk about it. Plenty of raw Iberico bacon restocked. Uh, we restocked the ground Iberico pork. We have, uh, of course, our rib chops and Iberico strip steaks, very special. Uh, we did restock some veal brains. A lot of you guys were asking, uh, and we should get even more in this week, so. Any of you guys missing the veal brains, we will have some more. Uh, plenty of veal sweetbreads restocked too. We have a lot of veal sweetbreads, if you guys like these. But most importantly, all the chicken's back. Uh, so we got every cut chicken breast, there's drumsticks, there's thighs, and we got plenty of whole chickens. Uh, very affordable price too for the quality corn and soy free chicken, guys. So if you guys have been waiting for the chicken, we'll have it and moving forward, our farmers back in production, so we should not be running out of chicken anytime soon. And if you guys do want fresh, never frozen chicken, let me know. Maybe we could work something out, uh, a special or something. Over here is just some wag. We got some wagyu over here. Wagyu ribeye, wagyu burgers. I think we're almost out of burgers. Uh, the main thing over here that you guys like is is the wagyu skirt steaks because they're more affordable. Uh, they're like only twenty dollars a pound. But what's also really special and a great price that we have is like these porterhouse steaks are very affordable. Uh, what's new is the, the Angus beef burgers are now their half pound patties, so a little different. Yeah, there's some of the, the Wagyu skirt steak. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Wagyu, it's just it's just more tender and has more marbling than regular beef. Uh, again, these, these bone-in steaks we have are great, great deal, great prices. 
on the bone and ribeye or the porterhouse. Not too much to talk about here. We still got all these uh, all these lamb chops. I'll be sad when we run out though. A lot of oxtail restocked. Way too much oxtail. Accidentally bought some extra. The marrow butter is back. We were out of the marrow butter for a while, but if you guys want this instead of the marrow oil, we do have the raw form. Uh, we restocked the uh, we restocked the boneless short ribs, but the price went up, so these are like twenty dollars a pound now, which I'm not too happy about. You guys got to keep supporting me so I can buy my own slaughterhouse and then I can make everything more affordable. We moved all the ice cream over here: vanilla, cookie dough, maple pecan, chocolate, strawberry, honey. We got about six ice cream flavors right now. And over here we have all of the uh, the stews and the soups. So like we have our chicken stock, we have our chicken meat soup, plain chicken soup. We have our beef barley soup from our Siberian Village Grill Princess. Organic demi gloss, very special, one of my favorite products. I put this in my white bean puree now or add it to flavor anything. This is our plain beef stew. Over here we got the Vichy Swat. I, I was having this for lunch uh, yesterday. I was dipping some bread in this. I'll have it again today for lunch. And then we have our very nutritious collagen broth, collagen extract, uh, a lot of that. We might give it away one week, but I'm not sure yet. Because we did get, we have some more here too. We have some more collagen broth here. On the lamb side of things, uh, we did restock some lamb liver, lamb heart, and lamb kidneys. Uh, so that's something we were running low on, but for the most part, all the lamb is in stock. Lamb intestines. Lamb burgers restocked. Cute little lamb picanhas. Not as popular as I thought they would be, but still very cute. I think we also restocked some sirloin steak. Now I'm fogging up. I'm gonna stay in there too long. What should we talk about first? The glass bottle dairy. You guys want to hear about me complaining about chargebacks and stuff? What do you guys want to hear about first? Twilight Zone, baby. So nothing too crazy on the chargebacks this week, but this one customer ordered like five or six orders of the duck eggs. I think their total was like $600. They applied the discount to it, which they're not supposed to do. We don't allow discounts on the eggs because it has to cover the shipping cost. And then the guy started complaining that some of the eggs were rotten. Now... No one else from this batch complained about the duck eggs being rotten, but he showed me some pictures and hey, sometimes, you know, the farmer isn't on top of stuff and I can't be quality control with everything. So yeah, some of the duck eggs are rotten and bad. So we just say, hey, take a picture and send me proof uh, back of, uh, you know, any, any eggs that were damaged and we'll issue a refund. And this guy's getting angry like, oh no, I want to send you the eggs back and I want a full refund. I was like, buddy, you could have went on the foods website and ordered $30 worth of duck eggs. Instead, you ordered five, six hundred dollars worth of duck eggs, and now you're complaining about them. Not freaking happening. Like, it, I, and, and again, it's like, a, he's a relatively new customer. He hasn't really placed that many orders. Um, it, it's just these people are, not, and it's not like I wasn't gonna give him a refund. You know, hey, just send me pictures of what's bad and, and we'll issue a refund. Uh, but then he's complaining that he wants to send it back, and even if he did want a refund, he already got like a 70 or $80 discount, so technically he already got a refund for any hypothetically damaged or rotten eggs. So I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of expecting a charge back on that, which I'm not going to be too happy about. So let's touch on the dairy in glass. So I just got a, my little price sheet here of what it costs to do glass for this stuff. So uh, basically we're going to have to add like 25, we'd only have to add like 25 or 50 cents to each of the products, which isn't that big of a deal, you know, if you're paying eight or nine dollars for butter. I honestly think most people would rather pay 50 cents more for glass than not. I mean, let me know, guys, because I, I think it's better for me to just switch over almost everything to glass, like the butter, the yogurt, the cream, um, pretty much everything besides the milk and kefir. I can easily switch over to glass fairly reasonably because we don't just have to pay for the glass. Um, but we also have to pay for bubble wrap now that it's in glass. That's the main thing. When you put the plastic in the, in the package, you don't have to wrap it in, in uh, bubble wrap or anything to prevent it from breaking. But now that we have glass, not only is the glass more expensive, but we have to package it and it's going to take up more space and it's going to be an issue. So I think we will be switching, as I said, I think I'll switch over to glass for most of the products, but the milk and kefir and sheep milk and stuff, you guys are really going to have to let me know 
and we'll do a poll or something you know what percent of you guys are willing to pay more because the milk right now is like 350 or four dollars but if we go glass it's gonna be like um, 550 you know it's gonna the milk's gonna be at least a dollar more um, because the, the regular plastic milk carton I think is 20 cents but it's gonna cost us a dollar more to uh, to package it in glass and put bubble wrap around it and also once we start doing that with glass we can't really put dry ice with the dairy anymore because if the milk freezes when it's in glass it's gonna shatter uh, so I'm not sure if I really want to open up that bucket of worms for the milk and the glass but if it means hey look if it means we get a 20 or 30 percent increase in dairy sales because you guys are currently buying milk and glass from someone else then it's probably worth it but right now I'm not sure on whether or not we want to switch over to glass for the milk and kefir products um, I, I mean I personally want to but I have a feeling it's a bad idea from a, a logistics perspective it's gonna be harder to to transport and ship everything and if we're not charging that much more for it, we're not making more money so I don't really know but at the end of the day we'd be offering a higher quality product free of plastic to people so guys please let me know if you'll know, leave a comment say hey uh, I'm currently ordering plastic would be happy to pay more for glass or like yeah I'm currently getting glass from somewhere else so if you could give me glass I'd buy from you so you guys can let me know on that, but we'll read some reviews, I guess. Uh, five star review for the Frankie's Liquid Gold Steak Sauce. Very delicious. Thought it would be okay, but to my surprise, it was very good and down the whole thing in less than a week. We're almost out. I think if you guys are watching this video now, we're probably sold out of steak sauce. Probably wait a week or two to make some more because uh, you guys like it, but it's not selling crazy fast. Five star review for the pasture raised chicken eggs. The best ever. Absolutely amazing and great quality with prompt services. Please keep up the great work. The, the price on that eggs, guys, is really, really affordable. Um, the shipping cost for those styrofoam containers like double. So I don't, I don't know what I should do. Like it costs me a lot more money, but I'm not sure what to do yet. If I need to increase the price of the eggs or not. Five star review for the pasture raised Iberico pork ribeye chop. Great pork chops. Lots of flavor like pork should taste. Will continue to add to my order. Frankie does not disappoint. Uh, five star review. Oh no, this was an email. Uh, beef and barley soup was delicious. It was amazing, Frank. A real stew, thick. All the components came together beautifully. Thanks for listening and always making changes when necessary. Yeah, so this girl emailed me, I think a month or two back, complaining that the the barley soup wasn't, like, it was, it was okay. The potatoes were a little undercooked, but this batch, we fixed it. We made sure you guys are getting a quality product. Another review for the Iberico pork ribeye chops. The best. There is more marbling on my pork chop than the beef ribeye at the market. Perfect size and flavor, definitely buying it. Yeah, unfortunately, the Iberico pork is a little expensive, so uh, who knows in a few years when we have our own farm if we can raise our own pork and be able to get you guys the same quality pork for a more affordable price. Uh, but the beef processing plant's the first thing. Five-star review for pasture-raised duck eggs. Best source of duck eggs. I love these duck eggs. The quality never wavers. I alternate purchasing these and the chicken eggs, and both are the highest quality eggs that I have access to. First review for the pastrami we've had. Five star view, grass-fed pastrami. The best, very high quality. Ate two pounds the first day I got it with Frankie's steak sauce. Cannot wait to continue to purchase more. Bro, if you're putting our steak sauce on the pastrami, that must be a flavor bomb. Jesus. Dude, if, you eat, if you're eating that, if you go try to eat a regular plain steak, you're not going to want to eat it. Uh, five star view for the pasture raised chicken eggs beautiful and delicious eggs these are absolutely the best eggs i've eaten and they come packaged very safe and secure i have corn and soy allergies by far these are the best another review for the duck eggs really good these duck eggs are fantastic they're rich but in a good way and the yolk has a dark orange color to it you will not be upset if you give them a go uh, then we got a five star view for the raw sauerkraut lacto fermented the best veggie this is your best veggie by far stick to this one Sauerkraut's always tasty. Five-star review for the beef liverwurst and scrapple. Surprisingly good. I never would have tried this if Frankie had not included a free package on my last order. I didn't know what to expect, but I liked it so much that I turned around and ordered 10 more. It's that good. Glad you guys like it. Five-star review for the organic pecan butter. Amazing. Why is this not more mainstream? It's better than peanut butter and almond butter in every way. This and the macadamia nut butter are stupid good. Safe to say, I'll be ordering more of this frequently. Yeah, we showed that in the in the pancake recipe we did on Saturday. Another five-star review for the steak sauce. 
So good. Could eat it straight out of the bottle. Uh, then we got a five-star review for the Lemon Light Organic Electrolyte Drink Mix. This is on OregonSupplements.com. Very underrated and special product. Glad I was able to get a hold of this before it went out of stock. Love sprinkling a bit of this with the liver detox smoothie Frank has before, during, or after workout. On its own, it's great to have throughout the day. I like adding in a bit of flextrose as well. Uh, we would actually be in stock if I remember to order the correct amount of lemon powder. Uh, but we should have the lemon light back by the end of this week. I was thinking of adding glucose, uh, adding the flextrose to it instead of stevia, but you guys can just make your own. Uh, but that'd basically be like a healthy Gatorade, uh, healthy Gatorade product. But that's all the reviews for this week. Uh, I think we've kind of uh, touched on and, and gone over everything um, that's new and that's coming. Yeah, guys, so to sum things up, we have a pretty significant amount of things going on. Uh, I guess what's pretty big is the chicken's back in stock. You guys have been waiting like over a month for us to get chicken. Uh, so we have that. Let me know if you guys want the fresh chicken. We got the fresh beef in this week as usual, showed you guys everything. The blood is only $5 a jar if you guys want to buy a lot of that for whatever fertilizer, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, what else is in the fridge? We got all the dairy in stock, but guys, let me know if you want glass for the milk and stuff. It's, it'd be hard to do it separately. It'd be hard to do some plastic and some glass, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, we showed you guys the all the fresh beef shares. If you guys want quarter, half, or whole beef, those are available. Huge sale on the Frankie's Naturals website. If you guys want a discount on the shampoos or any of that stuff, we put most of it on liquidation sale. And I'll probably, maybe we'll do a promotion, like you get the Tom's deodorant free with every order. Just give it away, get rid of it. We got the hydroxymitrogen, the opioid stimulant on the organ supplements. I forgot to say, that's it's illegal in a few states. So that's going to be listed on the website and when the product is put up, if you're like in Vermont or uh, there's some some states you can't buy it. It's actually illegal, and there's some counties where it's illegal. So you're not. There, it's going to be listed on there. I mean, you could. There's like services like ship ship it to, or there's services where you could order to different states, and then they'll ship it to you if you want uh, for that type of stuff. But uh, you guys will get the free sample pill with the next 200 organ supplements orders. Uh, yeah, so that that was mainly it's mainly a thing you know to try to push some business on organ supplements because that 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 kind of helps supplement the meat business a lot. But we will have uh, some new, hopefully new restocks on organ supplements in two or three weeks, including a probiotic. So uh, if you guys want to jump on this free promo, um, shipping isn't that expensive, so it's not that big of a deal if you get two orders. Wi-Fi shielding, clothing's back in stock. Uh, we we might do uh, we might get some king canopies and some other stuff back, but I'm kind of broke. But yeah, as I said, a lot a lot of new stuff happening this week's uh, exciting sales, restocks, and all that type of stuff. So if you guys go to frankdestefano.com, you will see all of those businesses where you can kind of explore and look and, and see what you guys are interested. Uh, yeah, that should be everything. So I'll see you guys for the next video.